here again, um, just a wee quick video. I've <coughs> been in the off work hill this week, been getting a lot of migraine issues and not been feeling very good, so I've not been doing a lot with my cars at all, but um, basically I, I ordered a couple of bits from China months ago, I forgot about again. So I got this for about £10, I don't know it's American money, maybe about 15 bucks, whatever you call it, but pretty cheap anyway. So I've got two diff guards, bottom skid plate and a front bash plate just to install onto it. So it should be pretty straightforward, just um, two mil Allen key I think and just kind of go through that now while I'm sitting doing it. feeling terrible, it's kind of annoying because we like to out drive in these now but kind of breaks my day up a bit getting some parts onto them because it's not been too good this week but what do you do? So I'll start with a skid plate I was looking at the the holes, it's got three, three mounting holes and there's only one fixing hole that seems to line up on the car so it's a single wider headed inset screw so I'll stick that in tight see what it's like with just the one screw if not I've got little self tappers that I got off my dad they actually got them for his work they're only about 3-4mm long so I could even stick a couple of them in just just to secure it because I don't think there's anything I'm really going to damage in there but see this is a that's the original screw and that's the counter sunk one it goes in. So, as far as I can see it just goes on pretty snug like that. I think as well we it's not really heavy but we have a bit more low down weight which might get rid of the top heaviness when you're on steep hills as well, so be good for crawling. Oops, sorry not the camera. Sausage fingers. But you know what it is? Using the wrong Allen key, yeah, that's that's how we are today. But hitting the big leagues of having 24 subscribers, you know what I mean? But I put the content out. <laughs> it's actually pretty solid with the one. I could put a little screw in there but to be fair I think the one screw is going to hold pretty well and it's only going to if it does scrape it's going to be this direction anyway so it's not going to twist it out of line or anything it's pretty tight I'll maybe put a little bit more down not that it really bashes too much underneath but it's all about the scaled look I suppose Right, so I've got that on and the front and back bash guards are just identical to each other so I don't think it really matters what order you do them in. So let's try and see how this sits on. Yeah, I don't think I'll actually have to take these screws right out. There's a little lug here that just sits on the bottom of the diff. The two screws just catch onto the sides there. I'll spin that around if it's easier. Yeah, oh, lights are off. You know what that'll be? That'll be my little daughter inside the house turning the switches on and off in the house. Cause there we go, back on again. <laughs> That's what she likes to do. She'll be wide though. <laughs> Love it a bit so. going to be 2 in September and they say terrible too so I think that's definitely the case we are. <laughs> Let's take this off now. Oh, probably notice too if you're watching this that this badly needs a wash but I'm going to hopefully take it out over the weekend again as well so I might wash it after that. I found a new sort of trail area well, it's got a lot of hills, descents, mud, trees, logs, 
gravel, it's kind of got a bit of everything, so I might try and make a wee video of my car over there. I'm really quite enjoy making little videos. But the more I do them, the kind of better I'll get with them as well, so... <coughs> I've kind of been new to doing <coughs> YouTube videos because I've been kept this to myself for quite a while. Um, getting used to editing and stuff. It's just something that I need to... <laughs> there goes the lights again. It's just something I need to sort of practice more to get there. But with the videos up so far, I'm fairly pleased. It'll just take a bit of time to get them improving. Don't if anybody else has had this this set before but if anybody has just just leave a message see what you think if you had any issues with it bending or causing any problems the ground clearance but it does feel pretty solid so I wouldn't imagine there'd be too much issues. Might have to go in, in a minute and turn that light on. See what my daughter's up to with the wife. She's trying to, we're doing a lot of house renovations and I think just now I'm taking a wee break for it but she's um, doing a bit of wallpaper stripping and stuff so her bigger sister's keeping an eye on her just now, well one of her sisters anyway and she's just so hard work. I probably should be in helping but what do you do? Gotta look after these babies too, don't we? Right, that's that first one about on. If you look at this camera, the light doesn't actually seem too bad for the video the now, so hopefully it'll turn out alright. Just trying this in the one quick take. So I'm pretty solid. So let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, that's looking pretty good. What I'll do is, is, <coughs> is I'll go and open this door a bit just to get a little bit more light in. Right, so, front plate on, I'll just do the back one of them now, this stand's pretty good actually, pretty handy, um, yeah it's the exact same process, just the two little screws go through here and just just catch on to the side to hold it on tight, just got a bit more of this plastic to take off first though. They both centred. Yeah, I thought the screws were at a different angle but I don't think they are. A good tip as well when you're with your TRX4 is always grease these quite regular, just take the floor off, take that off. If it's dirty, you can strip it down and clean it out, but put some grease in. I've done another video about that, that's one of my earlier videos, but definitely worth making sure that it's clean in there all the time because obviously when you're going through mud and just all the rubbish and grime gets in and you can clean them and hose them down, but you never ever really get get to where you want without stripping things down. Same with a real car as well. It's, you can do so much on the surface, but maintenance is always the most important. The plane's going over now. 
never actually noticed how noisy it was in my area till I started doing videos. Even noisier when I start servicing my two-stroke Yama buggy because that was one of the noisiest things I've ever heard. It's got a new custom exhaust on it as well that I made up for it, so it's gonna go straight through the pipe. My side exit exhaust, so looks good, sounds good. I need to get that back out again. So that's just the exact same process as the other side, just the two screws, tighten them up. Probably be better using actually the non jaxis tool and get like a screwdriver end, but it'd probably be easier, but this was closest, so that'll do. We'll look at that. Yeah, it looks a bit better already. It makes it look a bit more heavy duty, so. All good. Right, and finally, I'll spin this round. I've got the, the bash plate to put on at the front here, which. Manky, so I apologise, but I'm going to try and see from my phone here. But where your bumper mounts on, there's just two little Allen screws at the end on either side. And it's just a case of taking them out, put them on, back through again with this in the middle, and tighten it up. So, I mean, for anybody, this is really simple stuff. It's probably not even video worthy, but. <laughs> Just because I'm trying to do a channel, just everything I do with my cars, good or bad, I may as well just put it up there for people to see. Because as fun as RC cars are, there's a lot of downsides with them as well. You, you watch all these videos, people having fun, big jumps, driving with like maniacs, but I think my time in RC cars, you spend more time stripping them down, fixing things, than you do actually driving them, or when you think it's going well, you've had it out, going absolutely amazing, get excited about it next time, and boom, it's not working. Just it's a wrong your receiver box or some nonsense. Might actually take the. Uh, What I'll do just now is I'll just <laughs> think I'm going to have to nip it and get that light so this can be seen. I think it's hard to see on my phone, but it's looking pretty dark. So if anybody is watching this, I'll try and make it a bit better for them. So I'll just cut this off and I'll be back in a minute. All right, back again. Lights finally back on. So like I said, I'll show that again just while I'm doing it with the wheel off. The bash plate here, it's just. You take your two bumper mount screws out, just put them back on, wait on after it. Obviously it'll be that way, not this way. Just on like this. Put the screws back through, so it's really easy. Sometimes if you get a bit bothered as well with the dirt going in there, so like for example, this is here's fully dirt. If you just get a smaller Allen, like a one mil, basically an Allen key, and you just twist it around, it's quite good for actually getting all the mud out and that way you can get a, a better fix with your, your Allen, <coughs> Allen key in, in there because if you try and do it with a bit of dirt in there what ends up happening is you end up either wearing away these Allen keys or even worse you can round off this, the head which means it's an absolute nightmare to get out sometimes you might have to drill it out so always make sure they're clean when you're trying to do that Uh, 
this thing needs an absolute turn now for when I first got it because I've also got the speakers in it now um, all these bash plates, metal bumpers, light kit just the more and more I add to it, even the beadlock wheels I think are a bit heavier too the more and more I add to it, the heavier it gets all the time <laughs> But the battery life's amazing, so I use the, the Traxxas um, 5000, well, there's one there, Traxxas 5000 milliamp batteries, and with one of them, I mean, you can get ages on this car, maybe about 45 minutes to an hour if you're going hard, maybe double that if you're just crawling, it's absolutely amazing. Plus it only take about 40 minutes to charge or something, so... You're never stuck for getting a shot. Actually got four of the batteries too, so just run all my cars off the same the same batteries keeps it simpler. Although I've got a an armor coming and I can't remember what batteries it's got with it. It's a different different brand that's coming with it, so I'll let you know how how that is, how they work out. Or even better, if anybody knows I mean, a lot of people know a lot more than me about these cars, but if anybody knows a, a good brand of battery to get, just let me know. I've just kind of always stuck with Traxxas, because Traxxas was the first car I got, and basically just kept it simple, just stuck with what I knew. only had one issue with one of their batteries but that was due to crashing a car at nearly 90 mile an hour and the battery came out of the tree and took a bash so I think it just damaged one of the cells but you can't really blame MD for that but me I'd love to blame somebody else for that right enough because it's a pretty bad crash my tyre popped never try and go fast on Tammy or standard wheels <coughs> that's a lesson I've learned right so the four of them are out just peel this plastic off again and I'll stick these back on just reverse process of this in the middle I'm quite excited to see what this looks like all together I think it'll look even better still when it's bit more sort of scuffed up as well because it does look awfully shiny compared to the rest of my TRX. So I've got to change the front bumper mount for a brass one too. The plastic one was okay, but I don't the only reason I changed it is because I broke it. I was down at a BMX park just crawling and I ended up just doing some some jumps with it, just seeing what it was like in the air, but one of the one of them had like a nose dive and just cracked it a little bit so I thought it was a good opportunity just to replace it at the time. Thought about getting the let me get the camera again. Thought about getting the brass weights for the wheels but I don't know how important that really is. Maybe if you're doing competitions crawling and stuff it might be worth it but I think it maybe a wee step too far for myself. The only reason I have I really buy anything for it is just to make it look more like my real one, so I'm pretty much a defender addict. Oh 
Oh. Well, I say that, I've actually not had it out for a good wee while now, so I think I'm going to have to charge a battery on that after this. It's kind of been sitting for a while doing nothing. I was doing a few sort of off-road competitions in it, but recently I've just not really been in the mood, to be honest. I don't know if it's to do with these headaches I'm getting or just lacking motivation, but I've just kind of not been really interested in real vehicles recently. It's just all been about the, about the, the scale stuff for me. screws to go. Well, one more after this one. Then I'll have a look, see what it's like. Either way though, for the money and how simple it is, it's definitely worth doing. And I mean, even this front plate here, although I've got more for show, it's definitely going to protect your, your steering arm if you do hit something. So it's actually going to have a purpose. It's not just there for prettiness, it's actually got basically some, what would you call it, function, that's the word. Function something I've not got just now. Hardly sleeping and feel like a zombie. I feel like I'm even talking like a zombie, I don't know how it's coming across but that's how I feel. I feel better tomorrow though because I've got a skip coming, I've got loads of house stuff to get ready and dump and in this, in this garage here I've got all my cars, I've got loads of other stuff too, I've just got loads of old tools that I've kept for years thinking that'll come handy one day, some fixings, plumbing parts, but they've never came handy in like the last eight years so I think I'm just going to clear this all out and just get this this whole whole garage is completely car focused for my RC stuff, get it better laid out and paint it up a bit and just have a nicer place just to work on my cars. And avoid chores in the house. <laughs> yeah, stick this other wheel on. Start. There's no need to really overly tighten these either, no way anybody else does, but as I do with everything, it's hand tight and a quarter turn just, just till you feel it nip and lock and that should do. So I'll get a look at this car just now. Camera further away. Okay. See. That's the plates underneath. Bash plate at the back. And the skid plate at the bottom. So that's just another wee thing done yet, just to make it a bit more unique. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> right, well, if anybody did watch this, thanks a lot. And um, I'll probably put another video out in the next, next few days again. Um, yeah, I don't, don't know exactly what on, but... I'll just get something else out soon with one of the cars and like I say I've got this new armour coming too so 
just once I get a chance I'll get something else out so catch you guys later, bye!